Now let's suppose um, you are assigned this route from uh, Austin to JFK serviced by American Airlines on on these dates okay so now uh, you're wondering uh, whether um, you can predict arrival delays using departure delays in other words if this plane has departed uh, this late or this early okay uh, given that can you figure out can you predict how late or how early the plane will arrive okay so uh, for that what we're going to do is we're going to start with a scatter plot and then we're going to try to uh, fit a line uh, a trend line using those data points okay so uh, to um, to draw a uh, scatter plot all you need to do is simply select the data okay and um, scrolling down here so first I'm going to select the data and then I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to find scatter here okay and I'm going to click on this so now what I see is uh, it says arrival delay okay so now this is my uh, this is the the y-axis and the x-axis is uh, is a departure delay okay so now how do I know that uh, I right click and um, I say select data so the horizontal axis so what I can do is I can click on this okay this is arrival delay and I say edit okay so X values are here which is uh, departure delay okay and the Y values are these which are the arrival delay okay so so what I want to know is if there's a relationship uh, between departure delays and arrival delays. So what I see from this figure is there seems to be a linear relationship. Okay. So now to declutter this, I'm going to click select this uh, legend, click uh, delete, uh, press delete and delete it and what I'm going to do is I'm I need to take this axis down okay so the x-axis should cross the y-axis at minus 100 so I can click right click on any number here and this axis will be highlighted and I'm say gonna I'm gonna say format axis horizontal axis crosses this vertical axis at minus 100 okay so now the graph looks a little bit better but then I need to shift this y-axis okay and I need to sh shift it to minus 50 uh, right click format axis should be minus 50 okay so now the axis looks much better and um, for further clarity I'm just going to delete these uh, horizontal lines now it seems like there's a maybe there's a straight line maybe there's a curved uh, relationship here and then I see um, some clustering around zero which is good because most of the time the flight should be departing as scheduled and they should be landing as scheduled okay so now to add a trend line um, Excel gives you a lot of um, options so what I can do is I can click okay uh, on uh, any data point okay doesn't matter which data point you click on uh, right click and then I can uh, select this option at trend line now Excel gives me gi a number of options so um, 
Okay. Uh, add trend line. Okay. Now, if I click on linear, uh, it's going to give me a linear uh, trend line. Okay. So that's a straight line through the data. Okay. What I can do is I can change uh, this linear shape to a curved shape. So, uh, so in this case, uh, it says some trend lines cannot be calculated. Okay, so in that case, it doesn't work. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add a trend line. Okay, I'm going to try polynomial. Okay, my polynomial line is curved, but it's very close to the trend line. Okay. So I'm going to stick with the uh, with the uh, straight line. Okay, so I'm going to select the curved polynomial trend line, and then click delete or add delete uh, or press delete. Sorry about this. So uh, now uh, I can format the trend line. Okay, what I can do is I can display the equation of this line and display the R squared okay so when I say close you will see these uh, this information on the chart so now what does that mean uh, the first uh, thing that you can interpret is R square okay so in this case, R square is 0.8112. The way to interpret this is that uh, departure delays explain 80% of arrival delays. Okay, so more technically, the uh, changes in arrive uh, the changes in let me put it this way. 80% of the changes in arrivals are due to uh, changes in departure delays. Okay. Um, now, in addition to R square, you have a uh, an equation here. Now, what that means is that um, uh, 0.1062 times x. X is the departure delay. Y is the arrival delay, and it says whenever you start with a certain amount of uh, delay, departure delay, uh, your arrival will be at least that much, plus you're going to add more than 6% of delay to it. Okay, so the average arrival delay will be. Uh, six percent more than the depart average departure delay. Okay, so this is a regression equation, and this is a simple interpretation of it. Okay, so um, um, this is the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to draw a histogram and then how to interpret a histogram.